A total solar eclipse will be visible across North America today. If you aren't aware, if you've been actually on the face of the moon, because this is all that everyone's been talking about for the whole weekend, this phenomenon occurs when the Earth, the sun, and the moon align in such a way that the moon will completely block the sun. And you can see from this map, uh, it'll cross the country starting in Texas, all the way up to northern Maine. There's more than 31 million people who live in the path of totality where the moon will fully block out the sun. Let's take you out to Indianapolis, Indiana. That's where our Lana Zach is kicking off our eclipse coverage. Lana, I know that this is, this is let's face it, your own Super Bowl. Uh, Indianapolis is one of those places where uh, people will e experience the total solar eclipse. So talk to us about what the energy has been like, what have you been hearing from people, any curious uh, comments out there? You probably feel it radiating off of me, Lilia. <laughs> the excitement out here is palpable, and you know me, so you know how I feel about all of this. But I have to tell you, for an event that lasts just about four minutes, this has been a multi-day party. I have spoken with people who have come from all over the country, camping out here actually days in advance to get the best view. You can see here in the bandstands, people have started to put down things to save seats. We're expecting somewhere between 40 and 50,000 people to be here. And despite all the excitement that we have here right now, and, and excitement, by the way, for science, which is so cool, I just wanted to underscore that a little bit, I am told that this environment will shift entirely during totality. And when the skies darken, we'll actually feel it on our skin because the sun's rays, which are really hot right now and beating down on me, will become cool. And even the animals will stop and be quiet during this these four minutes or three minutes and 49 seconds here, to be precise. I'm curious about the people and whether or not they will be quiet during that time. Will they be screaming? You'll have to tell us uh, what you witness when it happens. We know, of course, Lana, what a total solar eclipse is, but talk to us about why there's so much anticipation around this and, and at, at this moment. I'm so glad you asked that because even among solar eclipses, this one is special. The moon is actually closer to the Earth by about 8,000 miles than it was in 2017. And as a result of that, the path of totality, the umbra is about 75% wider than it was the last time we had a solar eclipse pass across the continental United States. Millions more are going to be able to experience this, and it's even going to last longer if you can believe that that is uh so, yeah, it's it's remarkable <laughs> I, 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 i'm just looking at the images and and hoping that i get a break i know that you guys are going to be on the network coverage side of it i might escape the studio and We're take gonna, a peek <laughs> You should. You should get out. And you know what? I'm going to help you out by taking us to our next uh, our next correspondent, Dave Malkoff. He's out in Cleveland, Ohio. So, Dave, I want to hear from you how the experience there compares to the experience here. How's the cloud cover? How does everything look for you? Lana, it really feels like it's a party over there in Indianapolis, and it feels like an even bigger party here in Cleveland. You asked about the cloud cover. I looked over over Lake Erie, I only see one wispy cloud right now. We are hoping and praying that that actually stays that way. This will be a not only just a big party for the people in Cleveland, but also a science experiment for NASA all over the country, and they'll be able to not only fly high altitude aircraft, but in Virginia, they're launching three rockets into the atmosphere to test what happens when the moon eclipses the sun and you just see the corona. That will be so cool to see right here. Absolutely. You know, here we also have Purdue scientists and NASA scientists. Uh, there's a school of the blind that is launching balloons into the atmosphere to study it. There's so much science. There's so much excitement. And I know, Dave, that even though for me this is the first time I'm experiencing totality, you covered it back in 2017. In what ways is this different? So we're calling this total eclipse of the heartland, right? That's an obvious reference to total eclipse of the heart. It is the number one single from Bonnie Tyler. Look at this. Look where I was in 2017. So the eclipse path went from Oregon down to South Carolina, then popped off the coast. You would think nobody can see it after it goes into the ocean. 
No, we got on a cruise ship with Bonnie Tyler and Joe Jonas, by the way, and actually took that cruise ship and pointed it right into the path of totality. So as we were looking at the eclipse above us, Bonnie Tyler was singing total eclipse of the heart to us. So that may be oh the gosh. top eclipse moment, but uh, uh, can you imagine what it's like to look into, I'm so excited for you because you'll be able to look into the universe the way it actually is and see the corona and be able to see that with your own eyes. Up until that moment, you'll have to have the glasses on, but when the corona pops out, you can actually Absolutely. safely take off your glasses and look at it and marvel at the outer atmosphere of the sun. I know you love this stuff. Yes, and we're expecting a lot of solar activity actually, so we may have a particularly beautiful corona, I understand. But a good point, if you are not in the path of totality, do not take off those glasses no matter what. I'm gonna send it back to our friend Lilia, who's in New York City, and unfortunately, she's gonna keep on those glasses the whole time. Lil? I made sure that somebody brought me a pair because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to see it. Now I've heard that I will be. Uh, Lana, thank you so much. All right. This map that we're about to show you there shows the cloud coverage over the country today. So basically, the spoiler that could impact some of your viewing experience of the eclipse. Meteorologist Jason Michael from CBS News Boston has a look at the places with the best visibility. Today is the big day, New England. The total solar eclipse happens today on this April 8th. However, a cascade of clouds is now moving into portions of the Northeast as well as the Midwest. Let's get right into our forecast and talk about the two systems that we're watching across the lower 48 that could likely impact millions of Americans being able to see the phenomena in the sky. We have one upper Great Lakes system that's likely going to cause some raining showers there, but also that cloud shield could likely put a little bit of a damper across southern New England and also down in the state of Texas. Plenty of cloud cover there watching this area of low pressure pressure set to capture a lot of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and both of them will be moving into New England slowly but surely by the midweek. Once we get into the cloud forecast, at least for today though, you start to see a fan of clouds begin to kind of move in from the southwest moving up to the northeast. High noon, Boston looks really good with mainly clear skies up to New Hampshire and even portions of Maine. Even the crowd of Maine still looks pretty good and even into the afternoon hours, just some light high clouds again likely moving on in. The 93% maximum eclipse likely to happen 3.29 p.m. today with that partial eclipse ending roughly after 4.30, roughly about 4.39 p.m. later on this afternoon. Current temperatures in the 20s and 30s quickly become 40s and 50s later on today. And again, millions of Americans will be enjoying the milder weather. However, it's the cloud cover that will likely traverse some areas back over towards portions of central and also southwestern Vermont. Mid 60s expected today. Great weather, tranquil weather and also spring like weather for the big eclipse day.